Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. It's um, day right, three. Day three of, of the trio week. Yes, because Daniel has to have... I'm just trying to put off Rex week. Because <laughs> I am not looking forward to Rex week. I have a feeling it's going to hurt. I just imagine your wildest dreams coming true. <laughs> but I'm the one experiencing oh. them. Okay. Which makes it kind of awkward. Yeah, so not... But you can look vicariously either. through me <laughs> on the channel. Yeah, okay. You yeah. know, I should really care more that I say things to thousands of people. If they were looking at you in the eye and they were here in the room, you'd have a harder time with that. You think so? All right, we've got three magnificent bastards and we're doing... Uh, a rye, a small batch whiskey, and a bourbon. I need to brace myself. Two ryes, actually. Two ryes and a bourbon. I'm girding my loins. All right. To start with, Crater Lake Rye Whiskey from Bend, Oregon, thanks to Walker Bailey. Walker Bailey, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> oh, that was so far. And he broke his sunglasses. Yes! You know uh, what? What is this, red? Kirkland. Kirkland edition sunglasses. That's right, that's how you survived the bomb. No, they come together like that. All right, here's the Crater Lake bottle. Okay, now, we're following that with so, Bender's Small Batch Whiskey. Fine. Crater Lake, do we know anything about Crater Lake? I'm going to tell you about it. Was it made from a meteor crater? Sure, that's a much better story. Can we call this a space whiskey? Yes! We will from now on. <gasps> space whiskey. We're drinking space whiskey. Yeah, it's buddy. the Walker Bailey. <laughs> All right, and this is Bender's small batch whiskey. It's also a rye, thanks to Brett Redding. So, Bender and whiskey, Futurama. Yeah, totally. <laughs> We're drinking a space trio. Yeah. Are you going to call him a magnificent bastard or not? Well, you said words. I was you Brett I, Redding. Uh, Brett Redding, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Sorry, Brett. I was caught That's up. The I was caught up in the space theme. Yeah. Yes, he really was. <laughs> and final pour. Son I haven't even opened this yet. Son of a bitch. I know. Uh, now here's what's funny. Tim uh, Herstick gave us this whiskey, and he uh, t he wrote his name out phonetically on a piece of paper because he said you guys are so bad at pronouncing names. I thought I would give you a hand. Yeah. And uh, but here's his name. How would you pronounce that? Tim Herstick. Yeah, and so he's like, just phonetically, I want to help you out. He spelled and it. And he spelled it Herstick. <laughs> <laughs> he has no faith in us. No, he Tim Herstick, you're still a magnificent master. Tim Herstick, you. What's the thing that people do whenever they talk down to you? Condescending. Condescending magnificent bastard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, your glasses look kind of nice. They make you look smarter. Right. Yeah. Need all the help I can get. That's right. This You're, is Rex in disguise. You refuse to when get When we go out and Rex doesn't want to be recognized, <laughs> he just wears those. <laughs> when you, free, you refuse to get a just haircut like Clark Kent. for five months, you need a lot of help looking smart. Okay, so let's start with Crystal, or Crystal, let's start with Space Whiskey, Crater Lake, which for us is the red. red. This is a high rye, 80 proof. 80 proof. Oh, you know what's weird? What did I smell just now? I just smelled something. Ah! And it disappeared. I um... I smelled... You know what? I'm chlorine. getting... Chlorine! No, no. I'll tell you what I'm getting. <laughs> hmm. The faintest hint of the not appropriately aged new oak funk that you don't enjoy. Yeah, that's in there, but okay, so I have this memory. But it's in a rye, not a bourbon. Here's, yeah, it's a 95% rye, by the way. And, and this is a Bend, Oregon whiskey. Uh-huh. Uh, they started their story in, what, 96, I think it was? Aged only a year. They're saying it's spicy and fruity and... Fruity? Yeah. Oh, shut your hole. Fruity, come on. It's probably really fruity on the taste. <laughs> 
So sometimes when you're smelling things, if your right brain will pop just an image or a moment in your history into your head, and it's a clue into something you're smelling. I like the taste better than the smell. I'm not finding a, a trace of fruit. Yeah, I get it. If, if we're saying apricot, honey, dried apricot, apricot, I could go dried apricot. They're saying toffee and peppery spice. But that's what you could say about every single rye ever made. Well, for the most part. Okay, so here's the thing. I took my first smell, and I had this instant memory. Not black licorice. Of being 12 years old. Yeah, there's no black licorice. Of being 12 years old, or 11, or somewhere around there, and I'm on the swim team at the YMCA, or some, somewhere we're doing a swim team thing, and I remember walking into the uh, locker room where you change, and you get the smell of the locker room. This is about to mixed, get weird. Mixed with about to get now, weird. mixed with indoor swimming pool smell. So chlorinated pool. Yeah. And the smell of an indoor swimming pool. That's what popped into my head. I don't know. This is more simple than I thought it would be when I smelled it. I like the taste better though, because the smell is not amazing for me. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to Benders. Now Benders bought seven-year-old Canadian whiskey and shipped it to San Francisco. And Bender's is blue. I'm getting, um, before we move on, the Crater Lake is honey and leather for me. Honey and leather. Mm -hmm. I'm not really getting the fruit. Go ahead. So this is Treasure Island Distillery. Mm -hmm. So they distilled it in a column still and then they went through a pot still before they put it in casks. It's named after Carl Bender, it's evidently it's, the real guy. It's got um, a bit of sweetness in there. Just a, a more than the Crater Lake. I haven't t tasted it yet. It's the, I, I'm enjoying the additional sweetness on this rug. Yeah, you know what I got actually is a cake donut. Oh, I could totally be... Un no, with uh, no... Uh, not frosting. Is it frosting on a donut? It's, well, it depends uh, on the donut. What, yeah, but what do you call... It's Gla not... There's glaze. Glaze! That's what I, the word I was looking for is glazed. Okay. It's an unglazed cake donut smell. Mm. Dude, I get that. That is weird. That just popped into my head. Now I really want donuts. I don't. Let's go to Shipley's. There's only one kind of donut. There's glazed donuts, and then there's a No, mop. chocolate donuts. They're the best. Ugh. Yeah. No, actually, if I can find it, the only donut I ever prefer is a glazed cake donut. Whiskey donut pairings. Oh, hell yes. I'm in on that all day long. Oh. I'm, I love donuts. That's a biscuit donut. I love donuts so much, I should have been a cop. That's racist. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get up early. Here's the, here's the thing. You go, to get, go get donuts and bring them here. Get all your weird donuts and then think about them in terms of if anything would pair well. And then maybe we share it on the Whiskey Biscuits channel, which the second episode is up now, by the way. Probably the third episode by the time you see this. Yeah, yeah. it will be the third episode. The channel's up here. Dude, of... This has got more um, rich earth tones in the taste than it does in the smell. The smell I thought was going to be kind of light and so rye-esque. To that note, that tasting note, <sighs> one of the things that I think um, some whiskeys do that make us like them a bit more is if we're not only getting sweet flavors in a whiskey or we try something else, we're not only getting deep, dark, earthy tones. <sighs> Shut up. I have a point and it's a good one. Okay, don't let me lose my thought. If you can simultaneously in a whiskey get you know some sweet elements, but then on the other end of the spectrum you're getting some earthiness. Yes, that makes it an interesting whiskey. Yes, right? I agree. I just realized what I was thinking of, uh, what this whiskey reminds me of, mm. and it's very specific. Maybe the most specific I've ever been on a whiskey. You remember um, uh, Green Pastures oh, yeah. before they closed? The restaurant here in Austin. Yeah, they used to make this thing called a mushroom martini. What? Yes, and it was magnificent. It was grilled mushrooms and grilled onions and things like this yeah. marinated in vermouth. Oh, shut your face. And then they pour it all into a martini glass and you just eat it with a fork. How could a and place like that ever close down? Yeah, exactly. Kirk but was. this reminds me. Indestructible. And by indestructible, I mean it'll break, but you can put it back together. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, that's what I'm getting in the taste. I'm getting this sort of earthy, grilled mushroom, grilled onion vibe, but with the sweet vermouth factor going on. Is this our third video? Yeah. Marcus this Red is Wednesday. Uh, I would like to hear Daniel's thoughts about independent bottlers like Signatory. 
Oh, I, yes. I got a 24 years old long mourn from them, and it is simply magical. The price was roughly 100 euro. Worth uh, every damn penny. I tried different single barrel whiskeys from Signatory, and in my opinion, there is treasure to be found. Yes. Okay, so first let's talk about the third whiskey. The, the third room. one is a gift from, this is the uh, one that Tim sent us. Do I need to Tim, do let's mispronounce his name on purpose. <laughs> Tim Hershatak. Hershatak. St. Augustine Distillery. This is Florida. Yeah. Now, it's sort of like Bethlehem. What good could come from it? <laughs> Florida. But this is a double cask bourbon and it has won awards. All right. Are you going to make the shot? No. No. Okay. Don't, so we're still doing the trash can, don't worry. This is a 60% corn, 22% barley, 18% wheat. Man, I'm getting that that that, uh, that sour funk. That sour funk. Yeah. Now they use a Vendome uh still, column still to strip the first round. So this is between 16 to 28 months old. I wonder if it, the sour note is just because it's young. I haven't tasted this yet. Oh, we're on the green now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get in the same funk I got on the bourbon-esque. Yeah, man. It's that... Uh, Damn it. Is it! I really hope we don't ever have to deal with that. Does it present with leather? As leather funk to you? Yeah. Le well, leathery and sour. Yes. Sour is the biggest note that I get. Right. And it's either the barrels... I, I, God, I wish I... We'll find out, because we're going to try to make some shit. Yeah. And we'll find out which one of ours turns out to be sour. And we'll, Oh, that's what makes that happen. No, no, no. We need to get ahead of that because barrels cost a lot of money. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to screw that up. No, we don't want to because... All right. Well, this is a long video that we spent on this one. So, what I was blame, your favorite? I blame... No, no, Treasure Island. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. So here's to fighting, stealing, and drink. If you, if you, Ow. if you burp. I did a burp hiccup. <laughs> may you burp with a hiccup. Ow, that hurt. If you steal, may you steal lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with, with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.